40-year-old Renee English has been living with multiple sclerosis for nearly 20 years. So when she woke up with a pounding headache, she thought it was a side effect from treatment. I really thought, oh my gosh, something's terrible happening with my with my MS because I just had my medication. The mother of two also developed a fever, sore throat, and ear pain. So it was like strep on steroids, and I felt at the same time the ear pain was just, it was piercing, it was, it was horrible. Renee's doctor sent her to Cleveland Clinic's COVID-19 drive through test site, and then she got a call she'll never forget. She said, well, you're not feeling well because you did test positive for COVID-19. I um, immediately couldn't speak. Um, I was in tears. Renee's MS also began to flare with numbness in her face and hands, which doctors say is common when someone with MS has a fever. I went over her MS symptoms with her and explained that she was not experiencing an MS relapse, but the coinciding infection with COVID-19 was increasing her MS symptoms. With her fever in a safe range and no trouble breathing, Renee recovered at home, taking acetaminophen, plenty of fluids, and lots of rest. It was a solid two weeks before I felt like myself again. Um, and then I would say it was another whole week after that before I stopped being so incredibly tired. Renee's recovery hasn't been a slam dunk. She lost her sense of taste and smell and has lingering numbness in her face and hands. But she wants others to know COVID-19 is beatable. I would say to most people who are, you know, if you're healthy and active um, and you get it, you're going to be okay. Um, I'm living proof. You know, I have MS and it's, I was terrified. My first thought was, oh my God, I'm going to be on a ventilator. I'm not going to survive this. And I, I think those of us who survive need to do everyone a service by coming out and saying, you know, you can survive. At Cleveland Clinic, I'm Erica Foreman.